Hello everyone, welcome back to our Flux web development series. In today's tutorial, we will be diving into the world of static file in Flux, which include CSS, JavaScript and images. By the end of this tutorial, you will know how to manage, serve and link this file in your Flux application. Let's get started. Flux is a popular and lightweight web application for Python and it makes managing the static file really simple. Static files are those that do not change during runtime and are essential part of any web application. They include CSS files for styling, JavaScript for interacting, and image for visual. Inside the static folder, let's create three subfolder CSS, JS, and IMG for our CSS, JavaScript, and image files respectively. Now let's create a CSS file called main.css inside the CSS folder and add some styling for our web page. To link our CSS file to the HTML file, we will use flux url for function. Now go inside the base.html and add the following code inside the head tag. Now save this, rerun it and see the result. Here you can see the style has been changed. You can also include javascript and image file the same way. Let's create main.js file in the js folder and add that file in the html file. To include the javascript file in our base.html file, add the flowing line just before the closing of body tag. Now save this and rerun it. Since I'm printing the message in console, so first I'm gonna open the console by pressing F12. Now when I refresh the browser, I should see that message. Here you can see, this message has been displayed. Welcome to our tutorial on static file in Flux. Finally, let's serve an image in our Flux application. Place an image, for example, logo.png inside the static slash img folder i have uploaded this image now to display this image inside the index.html file at the flowing line where you want to display that image first i'm going to open the index.html file then i want to display in between the heading and the paragraph tag here image src
save this and rerun it and as you can see the image is appear here and that's it you have now successfully included and solved a static file like css js and images in your flux application remember to use url for function to generate url for your static file as this will ensure the compatibility across the different environment thanks for watching this video on managing static file in flux if you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more flux and web development content if you have any question or suggestion please leave it on a comment section below and see you in the next video Thank you.